Good morning. Thank you for joining me. I have some shares today, so I thought I'd pop on and uh, uh, let you know what's been going on and um, what I have uh, discovered while uh, wallowing around to the bottom of uh, bins in my uh, stash and some things I received from, uh, Etsy, from an Etsy purchase, etc., and some books that I found, and well, good news, I found these at the bottom of my uh, stash. Those of you who have been um, watching me on uh, YouTube know that sometimes you see me use these uh, rather large stencils. This one has uh, all multicolored because um, I, uh, I actually use this in my uh, spray box and use um, Tattered Angels a Glimmer Mist on it to make painty paper. But these are um, paper, paper stencils, a package of them. And uh, they come from, I've, I've seen them in uh, and purchased them in uh, AC Moore. I uh, don't know whether you have them uh, in AC Moore, but um, I checked back at when I visited AC Moore the other day and uh, looked and uh, the company that makes these is um, Plaid, P-L-A-I-D, Plaid. And these are still being made. Now, I didn't see flowers, but they have uh, packages of other things. And um, they're in the area where they have some uh, stenciling that goes with some of their uh, wood products for crafting. As you can see, the wood, the uh, uh, paper turns uh, uh, turns more uh, valuable to you as you add layers of um, of paint to it. And when I originally uh, pushed out uh, the uh, the pieces of these papers, I just chose the flowers. And I guess for some reason, I decided not to discard the ones that I didn't think I would need, uh, thankfully. Uh, but I found these, and uh, I see, oh wow, they just kind of scream junk journal at me. So I use my um, uh, pokey tool and uh, uh, rescued the butterfly, some pots, some clay pots, and this little, this little bit, which I thought was quite nice. And I did two strips. I cut them down. I, uh, I didn't cut or take out all of them um, because I just, uh, there aren't that many hours in the day to do that. But I also learned, finally, at the end, I learned how to uh, do this fairly quickly by using this pointy end of the pointy tool. If you push it one end, you push it the other and you very carefully hit these spots out. It was certainly a different story when I worked uh, when I worked on these. Although, of course, they are larger, it didn't make it any less tedious. So, I'm tickled that I have uh, these strips of leaves that I thought would be very pretty. Junk journals, yay, some butterflies, Oops, there's one that I missed. So, out it goes. This one I loved, and this was a character builder. Uh, but, thanks to this uh, finest end on this uh, pointed tool, this went fairly quickly. Um, this one I also like because I can see it. In a, uh, in a journal. And this one. Wow, was I happy that I kept that one. This is going to get lots of mileage. So, I also noticed that the new packs have gone up, I think, um, maybe $2. Um, they're now um, $21.99 in, uh, in AC Moore. But, there must be, at the very least, 20 or more of these sheets. And I used my 50% coupon, so 
for ten dollars because that mine they were um, twenty dollars when I was when I purchased them about uh, two years ago or a little more. Um, so for um, ten dollars, I got uh, probably twenty five pages of this these delicious flowers that I use over and over and over again. So that's a share. Of course, I'm not an enabler. Oh no. And I wanted to share this avocado paper that um, I just got in the mail uh, from Renee. And Renee is GT Designs on Etsy. And she makes this paper. When I ordered, she had had quite a run on her paper, so she um, asked me uh, if, if I would understand if it took a while to get it, and I thought, well, uh, never in this lifetime would I ever have uh, enough avocado skins to produce this, so I was more than happy to accommodate her and to wait. This was the, um, this was the packet that I, uh, that I purchased. And as you can see, she uh, does some uh, cards. And aren't, uh, aren't these really something? It's incredible the way they are all so absolutely different. So I have some index cards, some of these white, these uh, smaller papers that I dearly love. And oh my, aren't these just, just special. So I am very, very tickled to have these, and I will be using them in my journal making uh, rather quickly. And also, sweet uh, Renee, uh, as a thank you for me being willing to wait for so long, she gave me a, um, a piece of uh, avocado dyed cheesecloth, and isn't that a beautiful color? It's a, it's a, um, it's really uh, this shade towards the beige family. I love it, love it. And look at this beautiful piece of avocado dyed lace. This is going to be um, in my uh, special pile. That is gorgeous. A piece of um, fabric, and I do believe it almost feels like um, uh, a man's t-shirt. My husband's t-shirts will never, never, never be ripped up and given to him to use for his model airplanes in this lifetime again. I will be using them to dye. And, obviously, it dyes uh, synthetic. Look at this lovely mesh. So, and she sent me some, uh, some other papers. This is um, pages out of a, uh, a notebook. And uh, just, just some fun extra sheets to use, and I will certainly use and certainly appreciate them. So, Go on over to GT Designs and uh, look at and see what else Renee has to offer. But these so uh, so worth the wait. And now I don't have to be uh, turning green every time I see someone's avocado papers. So that's my second share. The next one is uh, I'm uh, going to uh, while I'm working on um, Ophelia. I'm also going to make another uh, one of my hand-painted cover journals just because it's in there and uh, I also feel as though I'm, uh, I'm getting the urge to make another cover like this. So uh, a good reason uh, would be to say, well, I don't have any, so I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be using this to uh, make a journal and it will be, uh, it will be coming to my Etsy uh, uh, in the next few weeks. I, uh, I'll be sharing the process with you. And um, there again, if uh, any of you are interested in uh, speaking for the uh, journal, just uh, convo me on my Etsy shop, which is Carol Martine Art, all one word. And uh, we can discuss the kind of papers that I will include in it. So this is going to become a, uh, a journal cover, as though I haven't got enough to do thinking about all of the possibilities for the Ophelia journal. But my, 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 isn't uh, junk journaling just uh, all-encompassing? And I cannot begin to say how much I love it. So, 
there we go on those topics. I went to a, um, a small town uh, out on I-10 uh, west towards uh, Tallahassee. And uh, I went to a little town called McClinney, and on the corner uh, is a, um, a bookstore that is uh, not open very often. Uh, but I persevered, and it, uh, I finally got him to be, um, got there when he was open. And, oh my, oh my, did I find some goodies. And I'm going to start with these, uh, with oldies like this. Insects, the Yearbook of Agriculture, uh, 1952, the United States Department of Agriculture. And there it was. Well, the cover, of course, in itself, uh, tickled me. But, and the, uh, and the condition of it tickled me. I guess it comes down, oh, look at that end paper. The condition of things of a book, uh, just tickles me automatically, I think. So, uh, property of whoever. Uh, look at this. Well, when I saw these, I thought, mm-hmm, for sale by the superintendent of documents, $2.50 in 1952. And here we go oddities of the insect world, but look at some of these absolutely lovely, lovely drawings. A book full, and as I turn the pages, oh, look at this. As I turn the pages, the odor it gives off, that delicious old book odor, but the paper itself is, um, I wish you could feel it, it's satin feeling. The government does do, uh, uses good quality when it does a job. And here, some uh, illustrations. But, just a, a pea weevil. Insects, man's, man, man and homes, flower, thrips. We used to have trouble with thrips up north a lot on the, uh, on our, in our gardens. Thrips. I remember that word even as a little girl. I, in fact, I liked saying it. But many interesting, uh, many, many interesting uh, illustrations of the insects. And I thought that uh, never in uh, five million years would I ever manage to uh, use all of these pages. So, of course, I purchased this. Uh, to share what I'm planning on doing and uh, I will be uh, better at that because uh, since I have been making these journals uh, they seem to take up my time and brain power and I have I have to admit I've been neglecting um, adding the papers that I promised to last on my last vlog uh, to my shop uh, particularly that uh, large uh, Audubon those large Audubon birds they're coming, I promise. Uh, pretty uh, illustrations in the back. So what I'm going to be doing is um, sharing, uh, you know, some little bit of water damage here, but and so the ink went moved over, but it certainly did not keep that from being a, uh, a rather pretty uh, illustration. And... Uh, what I will do is I will go through the book and uh, remove a, uh, a group of pages to share with you, and I will try to make sure that there are some of the uh, some of these color illustrations and some with the um, with the uh, these lovely black and whites and so forth. So uh, I know that some of you might not have the um, time or the place to find something like this uh, so easily as I did, and. Um, I do want to share. Uh, I will make sure that the uh, number of pages is um, uh, is a decent a grouping, a good lot, and um, I'm going to try to make sure that the uh, price is absolutely right for you to be able to uh, have them and uh, enjoy them for your crafting. So that was my first find. I'll set that up here. 
my next one was uh, University of California Press Manual of the Flowering Plants of California by Jepson. And the uh, VA Hospital, Library of the VA Hospital. Information about who Jepson was. 1951. Uh, flowers, families, vegetation, the fern family, and so forth and so on, and more of these absolutely lovely, lovely uh, illustrations that would be so pretty collaged into, um, into journals, because many of us are um, great uh, botanical lovers, and this is... Um, Botanical Paradise, including the uh, the Latin name, um, just a wonderful, wonderful book. Uh, and here again, I would not, I will not be uh, on, on this earth long enough to uh, use this up. So, again, I will be making a uh, a packet on Etsy to share with you, and again. That beautiful, beautiful, um, the paper is just so satiny and soft and beautiful. It's just wonderful. Look at these illustrations. I know that you will uh, find use for them. So, shares coming on that one. And then I found a, oopsie daisy, and then I found another. And I, you know, uh, said, oh, just I wonder what that's all about. Well, this was $5 reduced to 3 Reader's Digest, Complete Book of the Garden. And some uh, maps, some color illustrations. Aren't these wonderful? Full page illustrations. And here again, more pages than is possible, 800 and 896 pages. Uh, lovely, lovely uh, illustrations, ready to be used and enjoyed. So I will be taking my exacto uh, to this book and, uh, and sharing uh, packets of pages with you. And this one I wasn't sure about. I thought about it and thought about it, and I said, well, uh, first of all, the cover is a tickle, an absolute tickle. And if you are an owl person, uh, this cover, uh, if you convo me on my Etsy shop, um, uh, we can talk about that cover because I know that uh, an illustration like that would probably tickle many owl enthusiasts. So, here we go. Birds of prey, smaller birds, woodland, wading birds, shorebirds, etc., etc. Uh, and the copyright date on this one is 1990. But, uh, the lovely, lovely uh, illustration, smaller open country birds. Rock wrens, everything, uh, descriptions, black and whites, areas of habitat, uh, illustration, uh, ducks, smaller woodland birds, the pine warbler, the yellow warbler, but aren't these illustrations just, just lovely. Thrush, chickadee, oh my goodness, I remember chickadees as a little girl, when there were still lots of different kinds of birds before the, uh, the world got too busy putting things into the air that maybe the birds didn't like. Ah, woodpecker. Oh, I could just go on and on, but look at this. Look at this lovely book. And it too is going to be... Um, 
pages out of this book will be uh, uh, coming to my Etsy shop uh, quite quickly. And I'm leaving that because I, you know, that's just a tickle. And what's on the back? Let's see. Uh, book of North American Birds. So, the last thing, uh, when I was in uh, AC Moore, I uh, was just, I always look at the distressings, and uh, it was distressings, but this said permanent mixed media ink palette. Vintage photo, hickory smoke, which I use a lot, uh, black soot, which works to a treat, and ground espresso, which I think I've seen um, Gail uh, Agostinelli use, uh, or was it Wendy? Well, um, nice rich brown. And then I thought, well, this would be nice to take if I uh, travel. I could have my, uh, I could have my uh, inks right there handy in one place. And uh, then, as I said, I realized, my Lord, that says permanent. And it says it back there, too. So I made a discovery and a purchase and used a 40% uh, uh, coupon. And uh, uh, this is going to be uh, treasured because of that word permanent. So if you have enjoyed uh, sharing some of these, uh, these goodies, I and I, in turn, will be sharing these with you. Because, as you can see, eight and nine hundred page books uh, are certainly meant to be, uh, as far as I'm concerned, are meant to be shared. So, if you have enjoyed this vlog, please give me a thumbs up, share with a friend, leave a comment, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Bye now.